Is Signal private? Is Gmail secure? Is Tor anonymous? The answer to all of these questions is yes. Yes, that is correct. Yes, bear with me. In this video, I'm going to explain to you the difference between privacy, security, and anonymity, where they overlap, where they differ, and what they mean. Let me start off by saying that this is an incredibly complex topic. And while the general idea is the same, there's a ton of different ways to interpret this. And there's a lot of examples and there's a lot of nuance and blurry lines. So this is going to be a very simplified version of all of that. Let's start with the easiest concept. We're gonna talk about security. What is security? The definition of security is freedom from danger or protection and measures taken to guard against espionage or sabotage, crime, attack, or escape. A really good example of this is just a common lock. You have a lock that has a key. And if you don't have the key, it keeps you out. Of course, you can pick a lock and that's actually a pretty good example of security too. Some locks are easier to pick than others. Generally speaking, that's the basic principle. You've got something in place that only authorized people can get through to access what is beyond. Next, we're gonna talk about privacy. And this one is where it gets a little bit fuzzy. Privacy is defined as the quality or state of being apart from observation, also known as secrecy. Personally, I define privacy as the ability to control information. Privacy is similar in security in that you decide who is authorized to know about these things. You can think of privacy as who you choose to give a key to. Privacy in the context of information security and digital privacy generally refers to information about you, like your hobbies, your address, your interests, and where you live, what you do for work, the things that you think about and listen to, stuff like that. Anonymity, basically it's privacy on steroids. The exact definition is of unknown authorship or origin, not named or identified. Anonymity means that people may know things about you, but they don't know who you are. Think of like a government whistleblower, for example. If someone anonymously blows the whistle, we don't know who they are, but we may know that they are a source within the White House or something like that. In fact, a really good example is Mark Felt, who was known as Deep Throat. He was a high-level government insider and whistleblower, but for decades, his identity was never revealed. If you don't know anything about Mark Felt, you can look up the Watergate scandal. So let's go back to the beginning and the examples I gave, and let's focus on those. Is Signal private? Yes, Signal is private because you control who sees the contents of the message. Signal does not have access to those messages. Only you and the person you're contacting do. Signal, however, is not anonymous because it requires an active phone number and your identification can be correlated to that number, especially in certain countries where you have to give over your ID to get a phone number. Is Gmail secure? Yes, Google has world-class security. It is well known. They've actually had almost no data breaches or no major ones because of how good their security is. However, Google is also notoriously invasive to your privacy and will likely correlate your ID one way or another, even if you sign up over Tor or something like that. So Google is not private because you don't control if Google can see any information about you. And they are certainly not anonymous because they will try to figure out who you are in real life for advertising purposes. My last example was Tor. Is Tor anonymous? And the answer is yes, with an asterisk. If used correctly, Tor is anonymous, and we'll talk about that another time. Tor is designed to keep you free from things like browser fingerprinting and protect your identifying information. Using it correctly, Tor is indeed anonymous. For a more in-depth study of this and more information on how to keep yourself secure and private and sometimes anonymous, be sure to check out my website, thenewoil.xyz.